Dear students, I welcome you all to this lecture video series in Signal and Systems. So I will try to cover all the topics for BTEC in ECE, that is Electronics and Communication Engineering. This is also useful for computer science students also. So I will try to cover all the topics for GET exam, IES exam. So in this video, we will see the signal and system definitions. So first of all, let us know about the signal. So what is a signal? A signal is a function of one or more independent variables which contains the information about the behavior or nature of the phenomenon. Okay, you can write it down also. Okay, I am repeating again. A signal is a function of one or more independent variables which contains the information about the behavior or nature of a phenomenon. So there will be some phenomenon and we will have to represent that phenomenon in terms of some independent variable function. Suppose we have a function f, suppose we have many variables, n number of variables x1, x2, x3 up to xn. So this is a function of n number of variables and here you can see that this x1, x2, x3 x4 dot 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 up to xn these are independent variables okay these variables are not dependent on any other variable and this signal is a function of such independent variables now we'll differentiate what is a signal and what is not a signal suppose if we have this an analog signal that means it has the information at every point of time so suppose this is a signal it has some amplitude this is the frequency Okay, that is this is the time period, capital T, T, B, that is bit period. And it has some phase, that is it is starting at zero degree phase angle. So I have shown here a sinusoidal signal that has an amplitude A, that is bit period is T, B. And it has some phase that is suppose zero degree for the signal. Okay, so in case of analog signal, it will have either change in amplitude. You can see here, it is changing its amplitude. That means here at this point, you have zero and here at this point we have some amplitude a that is it is changing its amplitude or in some cases you might have change in frequency okay so it's like this okay so in case of analog signal you might have change in amplitude or frequency or phase of the signal or all of them now what is not a signal suppose if we have a signal that is this is the time suppose and this is the amplitude so suppose this is 2 and here we have in the y-axis we have suppose this is voltage. So what we can write? Voltage in volt. So what we can write? So this is suppose x of t, this if this is the function, it is equal to 2 volt. So it does not have any independent variable. This is not a variable. 2 is a constant. Okay. So in this case, we can say that this is not a signal. So for a signal, there must be change in any of its characteristic so here we can see it does not have any change in its amplitude neither its frequency nor its phase there are many types of signal depending on various characteristics so we'll see in our next class so now let us see what is the system so first of all let me tell you the definition so a system is a set of interconnected components that means there will be some components that are interconnected together or we can say that it is a mathematical model of physical process okay and that states the input and output signal relationship so if i want to tell you the definition of a system a system is a set of interconnected components and a mathematical model of some physical process that states the input and output signals so if we have the signal and the system transfer function we'll have the output signal so a system suppose i'm representing with a box it may have some interconnected components so suppose this is a system and it has some transfer function this is t is the transfer function it has some input x and it has some output y so in this system example we have single input and single output that means y is suppose related as x into t that means after getting the input signal or in input excitation x it will have some response y okay so a system is a set of interconnected components that is within this box will have some interconnected components depending on the purpose 
here i have shown you a single input and single output system there might be n number of inputs and m number of outputs so suppose here we have x1 up to xn so here we have suppose y1 and up to y n there may be unequal number of outputs also so i'll represent the input with m so here we have m number of inputs and n number of outputs okay this m and n may be equal also okay no problem so this is a system that will have m number of inputs and n number of outputs and it will establish some relationship between this input and output that means after getting these inputs it will do some process or we can say these input signals will undergo some transfer operation transfer function and it will generate the outputs a system is a set of interconnected components that give some output depending on the input so this is the simplest definition so in this lecture we have seen what is a signal and what is a system in our next video we will see about the types of signal there are various types of signal continuous type signal discrete time signal then we have deterministic signal non-deterministic signal or random signal we can say so we will see in our next video thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you